So now we're going to go over some general of uh, other general things uh, to consider. Um, because you're constantly working with other people, it's important to really have a clear understanding of how you want to interact with people in general. One rule I always, you know, emphasize is everybody deserves the most, the most noble respect for their human dignity, meaning it doesn't matter who it is that you're interacting with, whether it's the intern or the clerk or the, 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 the tech or the nurse or the CEO of the hospital or the intervention or whatever, you should treat people with dignity. That's the first thing. You know, that's the first, first rule. Don't yell at somebody because, you know, you're a senior resident and they're junior resident and because you, you just think you can do that. I always try to give this scenario. You know, if somebody yells at you for no reason, now, sometimes you yell because you're frustrated, something's gone wrong, and that's fine. But out of disrespect and complete disregard for people's dignity, you just kind of unleash on them. Think about it this way. You can only do that within a hospital setting, but do you go home as an individual? Do you go to the grocery store? Do you meet people there? Think about that same person you're unleashing on in an environment outside of the hospital and try to do exactly the same thing. You see, it doesn't really work, right? Because most people won't, won't give you that chance. So that's really how I would really encourage people to treat others. What you're not going to do outside of the hospital setting to another human being, regardless of whatever mistakes they make, don't do it in the hospital. It just goes against respect for human dignity. You can educate people, you can correct people without, you know, violating them, if you want to call it that. So it's important to really, really have that at the back of your mind. Everybody has their tendencies. I would say, you know, at the end of the day, everybody has to define what is what it is that they will take and what it is that they won't take. And I think Nobody should have to beg for their dignity. I think it's, it's important that we all respect, you know, respect that. Um, I'll just leave it at that. It's also very important to be a good team player. I mean, it doesn't cost you much to help out your colleagues when you have the ability to do so. Because at the end of the day, you want to create a good working environment to help out the nurses when they need you for something that could have been the primary responsibility, but because you're there to help, why not? At the end of the day, you want to be able to come back to a place where you feel like everybody has each other's back. It's a, it's a much healthier environment that way. It doesn't cost much to do. It just takes you understanding the ROIs of that for future purposes, because at the end of the day, you create the right environment, you'll, you'll be at peace for the most part, because everybody kind of supports each other, and we all need somebody else to kind of, you know, Put us, put us proper, you know, you make a mistake, somebody covers for you, somebody makes a mistake, they cover for you, not because they're trying to be malicious or, you know, deliberately do something wrong, because, but because these things happen and you need to facilitate that environment, that working relationship, wherever you interact with, with the physician staff, the non-physician staff, and everybody that you're, you're interacting with. Now, you will deal with confrontational colleagues, you know, people who have certain tendencies and you really can't fault them. It's important to always be, however triggered you may be to react inappropriately, choose to be the bigger person. Because typically, working environments are only short parts of, our, from, of most of our lives. Because people move, people go to other places. You're in training today, you're going to go somewhere else in another three years or whatever. The things that people remember many years down the line is your integrity and the way you made them feel. At the end of the day, when you're a stand-up person, you learn to be, to the most of your ability, the bigger person. People will remember that many, many, many years. And who, what's not to like about having good reputation? I think that's important that when, in moments where you might even have a right to act out because somebody's acting, you know, whatever, uh, it's okay to be, be the bigger person and just, you know, manage it in better ways, you know.